Amerika. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. How do you know it's just for me? Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, would you lose some purpose? Sure. If everyone would please follow their heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to gather together this evening to take a look at and address the needs of our fine city. Pray that you watch over those activities that they may be pleasing to you and pleasing to our citizens. We thank and praise you for all the great things you do for us. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Tim. Thank okay. Hey. Reading and approval minutes from May 20th, please. Move to, move to approve. Approve and, and I guess, and I guess I suspend. Okay, motion, motion by Stern. Second. Second by Pillar. Discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Approval of the agenda. So moved. And motion is turned. And second. That's my pillar discussion. The only thing I want to discuss about the agenda is that I think I want to. Um, Dustin is going to be here for another maybe seven or eight minutes. So I'd like to wait for the engineer's report and the improvement discussion until he's here. So we have another person. Uh, if you guys don't mind, then we'll, we can do some. We can go to reports or other items before before that. Jared, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I got nothing else. Oh. Okay. okay. All right. We got a motion and a second to approve the agenda. All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Opposed? Thank you. All right, I guess we can do the, probably do the engineer's report if we want, but we should wait on, on B then for. Okay. Um, Jared, go ahead. Yep. Yeah. All right. All right, so I'll just go through the report that's on the screen here. Um, generally, Exposition States, they started construction up there. Guys have paid attention to that or not, but um, right now they're they've got the block of deep sanitary sewer to do just coming out onto um, Lemon. The contractor's sub cutting a lot of that material, it's about 20 feet deep. So, right now, he's moving about five feet of dirt from the whole length of the right of way, moving it, putting it back on the site so they can actually do the pipe installation roof placement work. John will be here. So, today they're, they're kind of moving dirt, but John will be here tomorrow to watch that piping work. No real update on kind of the remaining portion of the work and as soon as I have schedules for things I'll be sure I'm sharing with you guys. You know, as you know there your it's private work being done. <coughs> you're, you're you're it's not a contract with you guys but you know, you're still planning to take up take over the ownership when it's done so you have best interest in, in monitoring it. So we'll keep track of it. Um, alley improvements, again, that was awarded to Winkler Construction. They expect to start the week after the 4th of July. That will have some impact on some of the businesses on that block. Um, we're talking about having a pre-con meeting, probably a little closer to that time. Pre-con meetings go through scope schedule, timing, shutdowns, general stuff, but we'll probably invite the business owners to that because it will affect about six business owners on that street. Um, Next thing I have is um, city water meter replacement. We did have the pre-con on that. Um, no real, um, no real changes unless you've been contacted. But no, okay. At some point, they're going to be asking for names and records and addresses and you know other information. I think they have had Jared running around a little bit doing mm -hmm. a few things, busy with some things, but um, for the most part, they're kind of 
just getting ready to get ready, I think. Um, lift station stuff, again, I don't have a, a time of that, but that'll be one day, you know, a couple day projects where we definitely put those different components in those panels. It should function during that time. We shouldn't see any shutdowns or we shouldn't have any water restrictions or anything like that. Um, I'm going to skip over the sanitary sewer one mm -hmm. in here. Um, but as far as asphalt work goes, the last meeting I was here, we awarded some asphalt work to um, Quality Asphalt. Um, when Expedition of States is ready for pavement, they'll be coming and that's when they'll do that work. Probably have a couple of days worth of notice to let you know, but it's generally just spot repairs throughout town. No real pre-con meeting, no traffic control, no no big things like that. Um, we have we are still waiting on a quote for some concrete work too. So at the same time, um, you guys had us get quotes from Winkler because they're doing the, the alley paving behind that block. There was some spot repairs, some, some sidewalks, some curbs, some different things like that that. Um, you guys can consider those quotes when you get them. I think he was here on Friday. I think he went and looked at some of the spots. Yeah, he and I drove around a little bit. Too. Okay, so we gave him a plan with the spots, so they went and looked at them. We expect to get that quote, you know, hopefully in a week or two, so we can consider that at the at the next meeting. Um, yeah, generally, um, we're busy right now with a lot of construction projects going on. There's, um, I don't know. It, it's difficult. There's there's fewer contractors doing work. There's a lot of work out there. Um, I think they try to be as efficient as they can when they try to get to some places to do work. So we're we're just we're, str we're struggling with some completion dates on some projects. Projects are behind, but it's part of the part of the gig right now. So once we get people here, you know, we can try and plan ahead of time, reduce change orders. You know, have Try not to add stuff on at the last minute. So these concrete guys, the asphalt guys, if, if there's extra stuff to do, like if we had a water main break or we have more things, I got to know about them ahead of time so they can bring enough material and not, you know, remold and all that kind of stuff. So just keep me in the loop if you want to add stuff, you know, to these contracts. So, anyways, um, I have stuff on the sewer project, but you want me to just wait? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, question back on the expedition of states. Dave, did you want to uh, just mention the, uh, the dust control up there? Yeah, we were visiting. Okay. Yeah, we were visiting. We're going to go look at that after the meeting. I'd just like it in the record so oh, okay. that uh, citizens out there know that it's being discussed and that it's hopefully being addressed. So, dust control is part of their stormwater permit. They have a um, the, the developer up there has a stormwater permit for the whole area, so any erosion or dust or whatever falling within, so or the site is their responsibility. So if there is dust, we can have them spray water on things. You know, I, from what I noticed, it was like the concrete trucks coming and going fast through there, but that was generating the most dust. Maybe a little bit from the excavators too, but still, yes, I, that's. I think we should we should have them do that. Right. We just we just want to make sure people with uh, with some teeth or, or authority. Mm -hmm. are, are addressing that with the contractors up there. So I took a couple of videos up there when I was there before. Thank you. I know it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll wait around. Dave, are you going to show Jerry that the road too? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We'll look at that road and the quality of it. And okay. Yeah. So they should generally be staying off your roads, but there's some restrictions and sometimes you can't help it. And then we just, if they're using some roads outside the site, then we'll do a a whole road inspection now and video it mm -hmm. so that if there's any damage done, we'll make sure they repair it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Does uh, Monty talk to you at all about the gaps and stuff on the guide kit, or have you had a chance yeah. to visit it at all? A little bit? We did visit okay. a little bit. Um, I need to get all the way over there to take a look at it to see if it's something we can do fairly easily. It's a big box culvert that crosses the levee, and there's some flared end sections on the end. and. The one thing that the, the one flared had slipped and there's only about that much gap in it and it's important to get that fixed quick because if, if we get sediment and dirt in there they won't be able to pull it back together but they may sure. be able to squeeze it back together and then we get some internal tie bars there's, there's actually holes in both sides that they can be 
put together and last week together, so we can't put it again. So cross our fingers if they can squeeze it together, it might not be a big deal. But I didn't notice any erosion or anything bad. It might just be a simple thing. And I mean, it doesn't have to be done tomorrow, but I think it's it's good that you guys caught it. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's move down to reports on water and sewer. I think most of the stuff regarding water and sewer will be addressed when we when we talk about the project and stuff here. Okay. So I'll just go over it. Okay. Okay. Okay, anything else on streets? No, we're just busy mowing. Uh, street sweepers are out. Uh, we got the manpower, keeping the storm drains open. With all the rain we're getting, a lot of debris washing over, flooding them, so on. We're maintaining all of that. So. Okay. Have you guys done any tree trimming or tree work at all yet? Yeah, we got one down the other day. The okay. bad one that had to come down or whatever. I'm getting the addresses together. I'm going to try to get some stump grinding done. Okay. Some debris did that last year. I got paint and stuff ordered for building and striping and touch up painting and stuff for the summer, so that's on order. Thank you. Casey? I don't have anything at this time. Okay. Thank you. Jim, anything to report for us? Uh, Tony talked to the rep. Uh, 624, they're going to start going through the vehicle and prepping it to be outfitted. And they want to have it ready to go on the 15th of July. Oh. Well, I'm glad we finally got a hold of somebody. Sorry. I said I'm glad we finally got a hold of somebody. Yeah. Okay, that's good news. All right, let's, let's keep it. Oh yeah, Buster. I take a pass today. You will. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's move down to uh, new business. Bid opening for propane. And we received two bids for the propane delivery for the coming year. First one was from Farmers Union Oil, Senex. Submit the following bid for your consideration. Propane at $1.33 per gallon from June 1st, 2024 to May 31st, 2025. On a keep full basis. And the other bid is from Fiddler Oil. Delivery of propane fuel for June 1st, 2024 to May 31st, 2025, $1.38 per gallon. All right, thank you. Make a motion to accept the bid from Farmer Union, Senex at 133 a gallon for the duration of time between June 1st and May 31st of 2025. June 1st of 2024, presumably. Is that right? June 1st, 24, and May 31st, 25. Yep. Motion by Pillar. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion. Roll call. Pillar. Aye. Stern. Aye. Hi, motion carried. All right, 12B, 2025 busing grant. No, just if I can back up for a second, I didn't receive any bids for this application spring oh. as of the time oh. of this meeting. So, okay. did we have any bids last year? We did uh, spruce it up, lawn and tree. Okay. Okay gotten the bid last year so with no bids do we have capability of doing some of those particular projects internal uh, yeah possibly yes 
Um, I'm just asking the question to understand if we need to take a next step and, and reach beyond. I don't know how far our tentacles went out in pursuing bids for this. Well, we published the notice and sickly Mr. Belinsky had contacted me to see when we were doing it other than that. Okay. Okay. And I'm not sure now that we've published, can we just contract with somebody if we want for small? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we've done the due diligence. Yep. Now it kind of opens up the gateway. Yeah, that's it. Opens it up, yeah. Okay. Good. We're seeing a lot more of that, more and more where they're chasing the bids mm -hmm. and just say, come get us after the fact. Interesting. And at least with some of the smaller communities that I represent, Halliday Dodge. Okay. okay. Back to Tom Bean. What's he grant? Marty? Uh, basically, this is an annual process for the federal and state transit grants. Mm -hmm. Certificate of assurance is that we'll follow the lobbying restrictions by America and all those types of things. It'll go to the city's attorney for review and approval. Uh, they have a section to sign off on as well. But in order to receive the funding, we have to do these certs and assurances. Grants are awarded usually the first part of July. Motion to approve the process of completing this documentation. Okay, we have a motion by Pillar. Second. Second by Stern. Discussion. Roll call. Pillar. Aye. Stern. Aye. Weeder. Aye. Obenauer. Aye. Motion carries. Okay. That takes us back. No, Mr. Weedrick's here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start with your report first, and then we'll go back up. Sorry. And uh, then Officer Wolf did talk about the vehicle. Okay. He did cover the vehicle. Yeah. So all I got then is uh, the run reports for um, this would be for May. Uh, Officer Byers had 34. Uh, Officer Anthony Melberg had uh, 43. Officer Samantha Melberg had 58 and Chief Wolf had 40. That's remarkable. That's all I have. Any questions for Dusty? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Hey, okay, back up to 5. 5B. Improvement Project District Sanitary Sewer Resolution. Back up? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. So, if you guys recall, the last meeting I was here, um, we talked through the engineer's report where there was some discussion on the district boundary, like where the improvements would per pertain. You know, it's 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 clay tile sewer mains in the old part of town. Um, if you guys look at the very back page of our engineer's report, it shows that improving them. So, lining. About 25,000 feet of sewer mains, um, spot, uh, what is it? 20 spot repairs, 20 sanitary sewer invert or manhole invert replacements, and 400 lineal foot of manhole rehabilitation. It's all about you know, $2.65 million. That's what the engineer's report um, said it, what you have for needs as far as the uh, this part of the, the community. Um, we talked a little bit about um, costs and, and how a lot of towns do it, which is through EDUs, which is charging the people that are using the sanitary sewer system. And we, we kind of talked through it, and, and you guys wanted to see these resolutions at this next meeting, which is the beginning steps of a, um, a special, special improvement district type of project. So from the factory, we kind of got some of the, the, the initial kickoff steps, which is to create the improvement district Correct the engineer for the engineer's report. Um, and so Monty's got the resolutions here. Um, generally what the creating the improvement district does though is it sets the boundary. So that there's the map on the following page that just basically shows exactly what um, was on the map before. It's the 
the area that um, benefits their yield just tracing it to the outline. Um, that would, that's generally what is you know thought to be the benefiting area from from a rehab type of project. So the, the type of work we're talking about is is trenchless work for the most part, other than digging up and fixing some of the broken sewer mains. You get some, we, we we walked through some of the photos um, mm -hmm. of the props. There's all kinds of number of of issues in those dozen spots, but um, generally the the rehab work is installing a liner inside the clay tile sewer main to seal it up and form a new pipe inside the old one. And then the manholes, same thing, there's no digging. They'll, they'll rehab those manholes from the inside, much like key contracting has been doing for you guys. The doing sewer improvements like this is just generally way more efficient to bite off fewer larger projects than to do two or three manhole rehabs at a time. So. When I look at this, you got about 20, re 20 inverts to do and, and about 50 manhole walls to do. Be more efficient. So that's just the economy of scale on these projects. So what we've got is the resolutions. Um, the first one is creating the improvement district. The second one is the engineer's report. The engineer's report basically just explains what what I did. It's the scope of the work and it's the cost of the work. It's the cost of the work is what we're saying is $2.65 million. Um, and then the next resolution is to approve the engineer's report, direct the engineer to prepare plans and specs. So Monty's got them here and they're all included in your packet, um, but there's three of them to make. So the first one would be the resolution created and defined in the borders, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. That's where we need to start. We, we need a motion to start with that. So moved. Motion by Weedrick. Second. Second by Pillar. Discussion. Roll call. Weedrick. Aye. Pillar. Aye. Stern. Aye. Mulbauer. Aye. Motion carried. Like I said, the next part is to is the engineer's report. And the reason the engineer's report is important is because once that dollar amount is set, if your bids come in a certain amount over that amount, you can't legally award the construction contract. You have to kind of throw them out and rebid it. So $2.65 million is kind of a, it's drawing a line at, you can go over that, but I don't know what the threshold is. I think it's, it's got to be within 20%, if okay. I recall correctly. Well, whatever. So it's important that, that, that there's thought put into this and that the public's aware of what they should expect. <clears throat> okay. So this is the resolution approving engineer's report and directing the preparation of detailed plans and specifications. This is the this no, no, no. Be for the engineer's report preparation, which was was kind of out of order because oh, they did okay. already do that so okay. that we had an idea right. where we were at on the project. And we do this all the time. Right. It's just not official because, yeah. So, okay. so I'll officially make a motion. <laughs> <laughs> motion by Pillow. Second. Second by Leader. Discussion. Roll no call. Pillar. Aye. Weaver. Aye. Stern. Aye. Wolfenauer. Aye. Motion carried. Okay, the next. What's the next one? Okay. Approving. And we finally get to the approving engineer's report and directing Perfect. preparation of detailed plans and specs. Okay, and I can I'll take some time on this one here too. I want to walk you guys through. So when you at this point, you know you're approving the the cost estimate and then directing us to prepare plans. We've included a task order in the packet for this stuff. Um, if you go to that back page of the packet. Um, $2.65 million that we expected this project to cost. When we were kind of starting, I was just using 35% um, for engineering legal contingencies bonding. And I don't think it's going to be that much. It's kind of a catch all number when you start off on these things, just to kind of throw some conservativeness to it. Um, but look at the back page here. Um, what I expect the design and bidding engineering to cost is $145,000. Um, that's what this task order is for. Um, that's about, it's a little under 7% of the construction cost. 
Uh, what we do on these projects is we put together what's called a work breakdown structure. We look at the scope of the work, we look at the funding requirements, environmental report, plans, bidding, build, Amer build back America better requirements that are out there for these federal jobs. And that's the, that's the effort that it's gonna take to do the, the plans and specs. And so an engineering contract is three parts. It's scope, schedule, and budget. And so the scope of the work will be what's defined within the cost estimate. The time, or the, the cost is that, and then the time is, we're expecting about 90 days to design this. Um, what that would do is that would put us at the September meeting to approve plans and specs. We would then open bids at the end of September, work contract in October. So then we would still have November and parts of December to do those sanitary sewer spot repairs if the contractor wants to do it. Like we talked about this before, there's some pros and cons from doing it this year. Con is that it would be a mess in those spots, but the pro is that we'll let the ground heal itself through some freeze thaw cycles and get that settlement out of it. So I'm not saying the contractor will want to do that, but if we get good bids and they do want to, I think we should strongly consider it. But that's the that's the schedule um, that we've laid out here, I think, to get this designed and bid late summer. Okay, any questions? No. So fine. with Dodge, one of the things that was kind of a stumbling block for us was we had to renew our contract with Southwest Water for the duration of the loan. Are we looking at this and have we done that yet? Does anybody know? It was just it caused us about a five week delay with Dodge's city project. Is that a water project? Yeah. But this is this is all sanitary sewer, sewer. so that wouldn't really apply to I wouldn't think so would. either, but they granted Dodge's with both fresh water and right. sewer and just don't want to run into so when we do water block. Right. When we do water projects, the water only. USDA or SRF or whatever will specifically want a copy of the water purchase agreement and they want to make sure that it's updated and that it's current and, and that is that's that's always a, an extra check box on water projects. Okay, I just didn't want that to slip under good. the radar without asking. Good question. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Anything else? If there's no questions for Jared, then we need a motion to approve that. Resolution for the engineer's report regarding the detailed plans. So moved. Motion by Weidrick. Second. Second by Pillar. Discussion. So, then if we don't think it's like do the project, even if the bids are too high and stuff, then we still then. I would still ask you to pay that. Still pay that. Yeah, it's it's a hard it's thing. Work you're doing. You're yeah, you're you're advancing it, and there, yeah, it's a good question. It's it's, it's important to bring that up. Um, we have had projects come in high. We have had to revise and rebid. Sometimes, you know, we'll be bidding this late September. If we don't get good bids, what we probably end up doing is rebidding it again in January, February. It's I wouldn't say it's the, if we're bidding something in the summertime, you know, like in July, kind of a poor time to bid something, unless you have a contractor that's just hungry. Um, bidding something in late September, same thing. We either get somebody that needs work that fall, or everybody will be too busy and not get a chance to look at it. If we get high bids, we'll be rejecting and rebidding. So I... I don't have a crystal ball. Like there's been times I've been shocked that we've gotten good bids and shocked that we've gotten bad bids. All I'll say is that right now is not a good time to bid something in the first of June. That's just nobody knows what their schedule is going to be. But yes, you're you're advancing it. So I mean, the expectation is that you're going to fix the sewer. Any more questions? Is there any, we, we, we talked about the, the possibility of accomplishing some of the spot work and stuff prior to the end of this calendar year. With this whole idea that you're you're throwing out there related to the hunger of the contractors and the, and the bids coming in, 
either high or low or whatever. Is there is there any value for us delaying going out for bid until closer to the end of the calendar year? Or go any thoughts of trying to accomplish something this fall in in light of getting a more respectful bid? I I just don't. This, I, I know can't this say is going back to polishing up your crystal ball. <laughs> <laughs> just you know, based on based on historical you know projects you've done in other other towns and stuff. Well, the like nice thing is they're giving them an option on you know for the fall or spring for. The There's spot still some there. details, so so that may be something of, of merit, you know, to those that are bidding that they got some stuff to maybe wrap up the calendar year, some little spot projects and stuff. So that may be an attraction. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Okay. It's usually the month of November is winter because it's it's still nice enough to work, but it's too late to pay. Yeah. So if a contractor opens bid in September and they've got October and November to go and do these 10 spot repairs, we might just find somebody that wants to do it. Then we'll just have a rental service for the winter, which again, it's not the best, but it's just that underground guys usually have to stop like the 20th of October to allow that last two weeks for paving and some of them are just they have nothing to do yeah right so I, I it's very possible that we'll get and we've got some details to iron out like we gotta when, when you guys are approving plans we're gonna set some completion dates we got to decide if we're gonna have one contract or two contracts there's, there's merits in doing both but that's those are details you guys can figure out you know when we get closer All right, we have a motion, we have a second, any more discussion? Roll call. Weaver. Aye. Pillar. Aye. Stern. So. Obenauer. Aye. Motion carries. So I already went through the other engineering report items. Um, like I said, we'll be bringing back some concrete bids. I'll probably have to call them to that meeting in two weeks if I have those bids, but. I guess we decide at that point we're going to do some of that work or all that work when we close here. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. I didn't really address the task order. The task order. In the way you did it, the committee address it directly as to if you were approving the task order or not. So you direct the engineer and prepare plans to no contract? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it separate then? So you want you well, a separate motion to approve task order number 23? That's your motion? Or is that your I was question? asking the question. Oh, that, that is yeah. correct. Right. Yeah. Then I'll make Sorry. that motion to approve it. Motion right pillar. Second. Second one we did. Discussion. So the previous motion just wasn't detailed enough. I thought we were kind of addressing this particular facet. We just didn't call it task order number three. You didn't include the task order with the resolution directing oh, them to the plans. Yeah. Okay. Semantics. Hey. No. Yeah. Good auditor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You have a motion and a second. Discussion. Roll call. Pillar. Aye. Weeder. Aye. Stern. No. Obenauer. Aye. Motion carried. Thanks, Monty. <coughs> Thanks, Jerry. Thank you. All right. So we got those done. Down to 13, correct? Public comment. Are you here for a public comment? I am. Go ahead, it's, more, it's kind of a question also. Um, my sister owns a corner lot that is rented out that had a fire. I think it was the 6th. Oh, it was about the 6th, anyway. Um, I wasn't even notified of it uh, by the, the renter. And I just happened to go around the block because I had to go back up to center, or up to center, up to center. And in the process, my eyes just caught because there was this fire there. So I called uh, Corey Beery, 
and I've spoken to Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf was kind enough to give me an incident report that I have uh, for the insurance, and I, uh, Mr. Berry didn't give me anything, and I had asked for something, and I've called several times. I did let him know that tomorrow a lady from Iowa is coming up here because the insurance company needs a report in order for them to give you know, care to the renter's needs and stuff. So um, how do I go about getting him to respond to me so I have an incident report from him as to what happened? So we can give you our run report. I'm actually on the fire department okay. too. And that's all we have is what we did. Okay, but it doesn't I have state, It doesn't state what caused the fire, none of that. What the possibilities are, we're not fire inspectors. Okay. But I got nothing. Um, that's what I'm asking. If that's what you want, I yeah, can I need try something. to find that for you and get it to you. I would appreciate okay. probably not going to help you at all, to be honest. Well, I'm, I'm trying to do this for somebody that sure. isn't living in the state, and, and this is just hearsay now. So I, w I, would, I would appreciate that. Yeah, much. We, we can get that. Uh, do you want to get Monty your email address? Or Monty, I can email yeah, I can it to you, Monty, yeah. and. He can get it to you. Okay, that, that would be great. Yeah. That would be great. So, sure. thank you. All right. Appreciate that. Any other public comments? I know we have a pending one, but I guess no, nobody's here. Um, approval of bills. Move to approve the bill. Motion by Stern. Second. Second by Spiller. Discussion. Roll call. Stern. Aye. Spiller. Aye. Weeder. Aye. Hovenauer. Aye. Motion carried. Media adjourned. Thank you all. Thanks, Jim.